Hello everybody, I am Falak Fazal and you are welcome to official YouTube channel of Alpha Genomics and today I am going to elaborate you about peripheral mononuclear cell separation. The current experiment we are going to perform is about the density gradient separation of the peripheral blood into different populations and the main target of this experiment is to obtain the mononuclear cell interface that would be user, used for further procedures we are going to perform the cytotoxic assay. So uh, we have all geared up few of the reagents that we have to prepare earlier is 1% PBS and the washing buffer that is used as a washing buffer and rest will dilute the blood into this PBS. So let's start the experiment. This is the laminar flow hood and we are, we are going to use this apparatus in current experiment. Prior to performing any experiment, first of all the sterilization of this instrument is important. As I have washed and wiped it away with 5% bleach and sprayed uh, quite a high amount of spirit and now I am going to turn on the HEPA filter and the UV light for 5 to 10 minutes while keeping inside all of the reagents and the instruments or equipments like the falcon tubes and the pipettes rest of the stuff inside this UV to ensure that if there is any kind of bacteria or any DNA or any other microorganism or such contaminants living inside or residing these particular things they sure they can die in this time when you are when you are exposing them with UV light. So we will place it in this condition for 5 minutes. Today we are going to separate the cells from peripheral blood by using the media that is histopack and it is easily available in the market you can purchase it and the method that is used being used is the density gradient method. So for density gradient purposes this media creates a density gradient between the population and as you will see in another section after the centrifugation three distinct populations of the cells among the peripheral blood would be separated out. So before starting the experiment you will take 2 ml of blood and dilute it with phosphate saline buffer in equal ratio like 1 ratio 1 that is 2 ml blood and rest 2 ml the PBS this phosphate saline buffer that we have al already prepared. And we are using currently the phosphate saline buffer from SolarBio. These are some 100 tablets and one tablet makes 1% 1 in 100 ml. Now after the uh, dilution of the blood, each of the blood sample is already diluted and it makes about 4 ml of the volume. We will carefully invert every sample. And in some condition when you can't achieve the accurate or can't draw out the accurate 2 ml of blood you normally take, um, you normally increase the volume of the solution by adding more amount of the PBS buffer. We will add 4 ml of this histopack media into the vials and then load it with the 4 ml of the blood that has already been diluted with 2 microliter of the PBS. So each of the vial over here you can see. Now the most important thing that you have to make sure while using this LFH media and this contained environment is not to let out your any hand or any other material that is currently in this position to avoid any kind of contamination. I am adding some 4 ml of the lymphocyte separating media and over this media I would load this 4 microliter of the diluted blood and this loading should be uh, very carefully done because the mixing of the media and the diluted blood would not help us in uh, obtaining the uh, 3 distinct populations so when you are loading you should just keep this the pipette just give it a um, kind of support and start loading from one side don't just touch the wall and let the blood flow downwards in a very steady manner don't abruptly just uh, pipette it out because the abrupt pipetting would lead to the mixing of the media and the blood sample. 
now as i'm loading it in a very carefully in a very slow manner now for your convenience let me pick up one of them you can see that blood is being loaded on top of it so each of the sample would be loaded one by one now you'll carefully close the lid of the sample and this is the thing i want to show you you can clearly see that the blood is loaded on top of this media it's not mixed this is the layering of the media onto the layering of the blood onto the media there is no mixing of blood and media before uh, putting it inside the centrifuge you have to ensure this kind of texture of the sample so if it get mixed then uh, there is no surety of the uh, three independent separation population separation so we we'll load each of the sample first of all we will dilute each sample in one ratio one condition with the pbs then we will load it on 4 ml of the media that is histopack that can be lymphocyte separating media or any other media you are using and after loading this sample you would proceed it uh, for the centrifugation purposes at uh, 1000 rpm for half an hour that would be done in the swing router because swing router uh centrifuge creates a very clear palette and a very clear uh, uh, interface that is the swing router kind of centrifugation is preferred in this case so the next step you'll see after half an hour that how does this layer separate so the centrifugation has ended you can see that the uh, this is the swing router bucket centrifuge and we have centrifuged these samples for 30 minutes at 1000 rpm and at normal room temperature now after the centrifugation ended we'll pick the samples and you can see three clearly distinct populations separated i'll give you a close view you have to gently pick up the samples and to just avoid any kind of mixing would disrupt the layers and the population that has been separated would just be disrupted uh you can see this three distinct layer population as you can see the upper region that is yellow in color is basically prp the plasma rich platelet media whereas this cloggy and buffy interface is the basic point of concern and we are targeting the mononuclear cells so this is the mononuclear cell belt that we have to carefully pick up with the pasteur pipette well rest this the clear region over here are the uh, this is the media which is carrying somehow we have to pick the media as well because sometimes the cells that are not matured enough or some population due to any kind of physical reason that might be the centrifugation force or that might be picking up somehow lies on uh, in this uh, the clear media we also ensured that this population is also picked up because already the cells are in quite less amount so to avoid any kind of loss of cells we also pick this media population and rbcs as they are heavier in nature when you uh just go them through the centrifugation process so they usually settle down as the debris at the bottom of the tubes after the completion of the separation phase as you as you have seen already now the phase or the uh, experiment that is currently performed is washing phase now we wash away the cells in case they have any extra cellular material or any uh, extra debris that come along with them we wash away the extra materials from these cells so for the separation purposes we use the phosphate buffer cell line the pbs as we have already used for the dilution purpose so in this case we'll wash these cells away with the 1% pbs and this washing would be done for twice as it is dependent on the sample type sometime uh, when there is quite high ratio of rbcs lysis or there any kind of disease or any kind of uh, uh, sample particular sample type you are treating they normally uh, ensure the rbc lysis and there is lot of lysis so when you go through aggressive rbc lysis 
you normally perform two to three washings. Whereas when the sample is in good state and it doesn't require and the PRP media is quite clear, like in this case, you don't require any uh, ex excessive amount of washing, you only proceed once, you pr proceed the sample for washing purposes for once. These are the pasture pipettes that are used to pick this interface. The most carefully performed technique over here is the picking up of the layer. You have to carefully just press the balloon and in, uh, just uh, inhale some kind of air, just ensure that some air is captured inside it. And carefully you have to drag it from the PRP to the interface zone. You have to ensure that all of the white portion of the layer, you have picked all of the white portion and there is no such portion left. Now, you can clearly see that there is no white layer right now. All of the layers picked, all of the mononuclear cells are picked. Now the media is left. So I'll try to pick the media without disrupting the upper layer or without even touching the lower RBCs layer. So this is quite enough. I'll discard the pasture pipette, discard the cells. This is the media and mononuclear cell layer as it is 2.5 ml. So you have to dilute this uh, layer with thrice amount of PBS. For 2.5, you have to take 7.5 more PBS. Like I'll increase the volume till 7.5. So I'll dilute this sample thrice. So the volume will be raised to thrice times of the original volume that is picked up. I've already made 1% PBS over here. Its pH is maintained and it's freshly prepared. The purpose of using PBS over here is that as phosphate, phosphate buffer cell line, it is a buffer that is used to maintain the cellular integrity and to ensure that such kind of environment is provided to the cells that there is no uh, certain disruption or no damage or no torture to the cells. So I'm just pouring some media, uh, some phosphate buffer inside it. So the volume is raised till 7.5. Now I'll gently mix up this media and the cells to check to ensure the accurate homogenization. Before the centrifugation of these sample, you have to always balance both of the vials or you have to balance the sample carrying vial with some amount of liquid. Now the balancing purpose or the balancing basic criteria of balancing is set on weight. Both of these samples carry different amount of volume of the liquid, but the weight of these two sample is equal. So centrifugation basically behaves or, or works on the uh, principle of uh, the weight. So there might be a difference in the volume, but the weights of both of the sample are maintained. And this is done physically by using the weighing balance. The exactly same amount or same weight of these vial will be placed simultaneously opposite to each other. You can see. Now I'll ensure the lid that it is tight and intact. And the speed would be set to 800 RPM for 40 minutes. After completion of this centrifugation, we'll receive or we'll get a pallet of the mononuclear cells, whereas rest of the media and the washing buffer would be in the supernatant form and will discard the supernatant and proceed the cells for the incubation purposes with a particular drug. This assay is being performed to check the cytotoxicity of the drug that has been newly synthesized. So we usually take the mononuclear cells and incubate them overnight with the drug dose, specific drug dose. 
uh, for overnight and after the incubation we check the cell viability assays by using an XN5 and propedium iodide. Thank you.